Hello and welcome to episode 27 of The Organist Entertains. Now, what I thought we would do, excuse the greenery, in today's introduction is take you on a little tour. So we're going up the stairs, we've just passed Leslie's window in the front entrance and the reason for going up the stairs for the start of the introduction today is to give you an idea of why we have such excellent acoustics here at Bells Hill Central. Now here we are up in the upper level into the, the gallery. Now for the architectural people about, people about, this is what's called a U-plan gallery, which means it goes round three sides of the church. And looking behind me, you see that big high ceiling and all these pointed arches that separate the bays of the church. Now usually you can tell how many bays a church has by the number of stained glass windows. So I'm just past one. And as I look up, you can see some more arches. There's another window. And looking down, you can see moving past the church. And again, up even more, I've just passed another window. And this is us down to the far end of the church and, oh, wrong way, and there's the fourth window. So that means there's four bays in this church, in the actual sanctuary part. The fifth bay is the vestibule out front. But as you can see, there's no carpets in the floors upstairs. There's no pew cushions, because nobody sits up the stairs any longer. And the big high ceilings, there's no wood other than the pews and the floor. There's um, no wooden ceiling. And that is what creates the great acoustic that we have here at Bells Hill Central. And you might be able to hear that as I'm busy blabbering away, letting you hear. And of course, if I put the camera the right way, you can see that the organ itself stands free in the building. It's not in an alcove or a chamber. It sits within the building, which means it speaks directly into the building. And if I go down a little bit further and not fall, you'll be able to see, hopefully, it just speaks straight up to the kind of barrel vaulted ceiling that we have, which is plastered. And that just helps the, the sound reverberate and bounce, basically, around the building. And that's what all these arches and little extra areas do. You can see that that's all enclosed. It just creates more space and things for the sound to bounce off of. So anyway, you've had a little tour of the upstairs today in the introduction to number 27. And I'll go back down the stairs, play some stuff, and then introduce it all to you. Hello, and welcome to the hymns and requests for episode 27 of The Organist Entertains. Now, in keeping with my moving about the church to give people uh, a little different aspect view of the church building, I'm sitting on the pulpit steps today, and this is a view that usually two people each Sunday get a view of our duty beadle, who takes the Bible up into the pulpit, and then our minister, who goes up into the pulpit for the second half of the service. So, Kevin and our duty beadles, this is a view that you would normally see. So, that view is for you. The first of tonight's hymns is Come Children, Join and Sing. Alleluia, Amen. This has been requested by my mum, Mary Matthew. It's one of the hymns that she likes to sing, and she talked me into it that much that last week's online service even included it as well. It's set to the tune Madrid, 
And that is a, a Spanish melody. To me, it doesn't sound anything Spanish, but that is nonetheless where the tune comes from. And it's been harmonised by David J. Evans, who is the David J. Evans of Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. So here we have our first hymn tonight. Come, children, join and sing. Alleluia. Amen. <laughs> number two tonight is a modern contemporary hymn, more suited usually to being played on the piano. However, as I've said in previous episodes, you can play just about anything on a church organ. And this is The Organist Entertains, so me playing it on the piano just wouldn't meet muster, I think is the phrase. The hymn is Teach Me To Dance, and it's one of Graham Kendrick's songs. I remember hearing this for the first time some 20 years ago when I was organist at Green Bank Church in the south side of Glasgow. The praise band there were playing it and I was asked to step in and play the piano for them. And it's just a hymn that's always stuck with me. It's a good going, lively hymn. And when we get back to church, I'm sure we will pick it and be up dancing in those pews and in the aisles. So here is the hymn, Teach Me To Dance by Graham Kendrick. <laughs>
Our third hymn tonight is requested by Ed Anderson. Ed is fast becoming one of the great contributors to these videos, isn't he? He had one last week and he had one the week before. Again, Ed has been particular in his choice of tune. The hymn is, I sing the almighty power of God. And he wants it sung to the tune, Saint Saviour. Now, when looking up the hymn book, it was set to a different tune. It was set to the hymn tune, Jackson, which most of us will associate with, I love salvation, drink the cup. However, as we spoke about last week with the metres of hymns, which is basically how many syllables each line has and how many lines there are, this is a common metre tune and it fits many tunes. And Ed's tune of Saint Saviour is lovely. It's a tune I've not heard for quite a long while, so I'm very glad, Ed, that you requested the hymn, I Sing the Almighty Power of God, to the tune of Saint Saviour. Our middle item tonight is not a hymn, but it is a choral piece. And it's not a piece that we've sang here in Bells Hill Central yet, but I'm sure we will get around to it. It is the beautiful anthem, I think set for Whit Sunday. If Ye Love Me by Thomas Tallis. Now normally this would be sung without any accompaniment, so for me to do that tonight it would have sounded a bit bizarre. So I have chosen to play it on some of the softer stops on the organ for the request by Colm Maguire. Now I know Colm you're not going through great health at the moment and I do know that you and Anne tune into these episodes. So I do hope that you enjoy your choice tonight. If You Love Me by Thomas Tallis.
Our next item tonight is a hymn, a baptismal hymn, and this has been requested by Alexa and Bobby Walker. Now, before Dad, you say, here's another one from Alexa and Bobby. This is for you and for everyone else who watches and listens. If you don't ask for something, you don't get it. Alexa and Bobby have got lots of favourite hymns. So, they've got a list as long as your arm, and they are sending them to me, and I'm including them. So, the point of saying that is, if you have a request, tell me about it, and I will do my best to include it as soon as we can. But anyway, back to Alexa and Bobby's request. It's a baptismal hymn, and no, it's not by Cool Siloam Shady Rill. It is another lovely hymn, and I think this is a favourite hymn of Elspeth Dornan as well. It's a little child, the Saviour came. And I remember playing this and hearing it in churches where we used to sing the first three verses before the baptism. And during the third verse, the baptismal party came in with the baby in its mum's or godmum's arms. And then you would have the baptism and then you would sing the concluding two verses of it. Now, some of you may remember it being sung that way. Um, but anyway, we have five verses of a little child, the Saviour came, which brings back lots of christening memories for Alexa and Bobby. Our sixth item tonight, I toyed with putting it at the end. However, it's a request. It's not a closing piece of music that I've picked. It is another request from Ed Anderson, our minister's former organist back in South Africa. And as I was playing it and looking at the words, you may see it in the video itself, I was having a little wry laugh to myself. It's Arthur Sullivan's The Lost Chord a piece of music which I'm sure that lots of people have heard in the past and I certainly know that I remember hearing it back in Chalmers Church, Wishaw, with the organist Jimmy Marshall playing it. But of course the words are, seated one day at the organ, 
So I am today seated at the organ. And then there's another line in it that talks about the fingers gliding idly over the noisy keys. Well, my fingers may glide and clunk a little bit, um, but the, the keys aren't noisy anymore now that we've had the organ refurbished a few years back. However, it talks about a grand amen, which calls for the organ swelling in sound, but it's got its softer moments. And I think one of the lines is talks about the shimmering moon. But anyway, it's a lovely item and I do hope that you enjoy hearing it. And I will put the words up and down the side of the screen so that you can follow it. Here is Ed Anderson's request, The Lost Chord.
Well, we've come to our penultimate request tonight. This is a request from Morag McLeod, who hails from Airdrie. Now, it's Morag's birthday coming up, so by, um, I thought I would include it on the Organist Entertains virtual church nearest to her birthday. So this is a wee birthday present from me to you. It is the grand rousing hymn when the roll is called up yonder. That's a kind of redemption, salvation army, salvationist, Moody and Sankey type hymn. And I can just imagine people stamping their feet and waving their tambourines. So if you've got a tambourine at home, Morag, get it shaking for this hymn. It is your request and it is very near your birthday. And I think it's a special birthday. So I do hope that you have a very, very nice day. Anyway, here is your hymn, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Our last request tonight is the second of two from my mum. She's already had Come Children Join and Sing, and now she's going to have Glory Be to God the Father. It's set to the stonking good tune of Regent Square, and I pulled out Wait For It Mum and Elspeth and any other alto out there, I've pulled out the last verse book, which means that you'll sing along with an alto line to your heart's content, but I won't be playing anything remotely related to what you're trying to sing. It's a hymn which concludes tonight's 27th Organist Entertains, which is fast becoming people's virtual church. I'm actually sure I've seen a comment somewhere along the line that it's actually better than coming to church because there's no minister talking. Um, but I'm sure any minister watching will fully appreciate that sometimes you do need a songs of praise. So for my mum, Mary Matthew, we have Glory be to God the Father, Glory be to God the Son, to the tune of Regent Square.
Well, we've had eight pieces requested from people for tonight's Organist Entertains and I do hope that there's been a nice varied selection for you and that you've sang up and made plenty of noise. It's not quite been as fancy as last week with a bit of Hallelujah Chorus slotted in at the end. However, I do have a little item for you just for to listen to, not for you to sing along with because you've done enough of that. Before we go, get your requests and I know I, made, I did make a joke of that during one of the introductions but seriously do get your requests in. Because they're now on a, on a weekly basis these videos it might feel like it takes a bit longer to get your hymn or your request slotted in but it is in the book and it will come round as soon as it can. Below me in the comments box there is a link as there is every week to the Church of Scotland donations page which means that you can give some money to us here in Bells Hill Central if you want to say thank you for a hymn that's perhaps been requested if you've been listening along and think I'm, I think I should drop a wee offering in there you can do um, if you want to rewind and listen to hear the pennies dropping as you do your online donation that may help I don't know but nonetheless if you wish to make a donation you can do we don't ask you to do it this isn't what these videos are all about. They're all about keeping you connected with church, the building, the sounds, and the hymns that you like to hear. So anyway, the final piece. It's a piece by Handel, and I can't say it because it's in Italian. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It shows off the oboe stop of the organ, which is really, really lovely. And it also shows off some of the fluty stops as well. It's not a loud piece, so people like Anne Maguire will be perfectly happy that we don't have the trumpets blasting, but we've had enough of those tonight. It's a piece which is from an opera, and if you go and look it up, I'm sure you'll get the name much better than I could ever try to pronounce it. It's something like Pianga. However, I've now made a fool of myself by trying to say it. We'll get on to the music, which is beautiful. Thank you once again for joining. Sit tight, enjoy this final piece, and we'll see you again next week. Back here in Bells Hill Central for more of your virtual church with The Organist Entertains, episode 28. Good night. <laughs>